Fatty liver is a condition in where fat accumulates in the liver. Fatty liver is one of the most common disorder in the world. It affects around 30% of Western countries and 10% of Asian population. In many cases fatty liver is asymptomatic, or without symptoms. But in minority of cases it can be characterized by tiredness or pain in the upper right side of the abdomen. Two broad types exist of fatty liver. First, alcoholic fatty liver, which is caused by excessive alcohol consumption, and non-alcoholic fatty liver, which is most commonly caused by obesity and diabetes mellitus. Four main stages exist for non-alcoholic fatty liver. First is simple fatty liver, steatosis, at this stage no important symptoms, most patients do not know about having simple fatty liver. It is highly associated with obesity. Second is, non-alcoholic steatohepatis, it is a, a more serious form of non-alcoholic fat disease. In case of non-alcoholic steatohepatis, there is evidence of inflammatory activity in the liver and hepatocytes are injured. Non-alcoholic steatohepatis can progress into third more serious form which is called, liver fibrosis. Fibrosis develop when persistent inflammation causes scar formation inside liver and nearby blood vessels but liver still functions. And fibrosis can progress to its more serious form which is called cirrhosis. Cirrhosis, the most severe stage, occurring after years of inflammation, where the liver shrinks and becomes scarred and lumpy. Cirrhosis damage is permanent and do not recover. Eventually it leads to liver failure. Also, it's worth to mention that, liver cirrhosis and fibrosis increases risk of liver cancer. Risk factors for fatty liver. Alcoholism is most important risk factor of alcoholic fatty liver. In case of non-alcoholic fatty liver, risk factors include. Obese or overweight, particularly if a person has an apple-like body shape. Which means lot of fat around waist. Hepatitis C virus infection. Alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. Type 2 diabetes mellitus. Cardiovascular diseases and hypothyroidism. Polycystic ovary syndrome and metabolic syndrome. Have high cholesterol, age after 50, and smoking. Diagnostic approach to patient with fatty liver. Initial tests can be ultrasound and liver enzymes to determine liver function. After this serology, for evaluation for viral hepatitis. Imagining study can determine fatty infiltrate into the liver. CT scan can be used, also, another type of ultrasound scan, fibroscan. After imagining confirmation of fatty deposition into liver, we define how much the patient drinks. If person drinks more than two drink alcohol per day it is alcoholic fatty liver. Less than two drinks diagnosed as non-alcoholic fatty liver. Most individuals are asymptomatic and are usually discovered incidentally because of abnormal liver function tests or hepatomegaly noted in unrelated medical conditions. Most effective treatment in first two stages, including simple fatty liver and non-alcoholic steatohepatis are, weight loss, decreasing caloric intake by at least 30% or approximately 750 to 100 kilocalories a day. For most people with these two stages, Weight loss via a combination of diet and exercise was shown to improve or resolve the disease. In more severe cases bariatric surgery can be option. Also, vitamin E have been shown to improve or resolve liver function.